want you to close your eyes for a moment. Done? What did you see? That is life without joy. You might be probably wondering why that is the life. Why it shouldn't be that famous saying that goes, That's my life without you. Well, that is kind of overused. And joy is more important in our lives than you. <laughs> Just kidding. No offense intended. But I think we can all agree that life is nothing without joy. No matter what age we are, joy is something vital for us. Joy fuels up our light when darkness creeps. Similarly, joy is like an endless bit. It is everlasting. And even if we are at the loneliest moment of our lives, it is still there, lurking and waiting for us to rekindle it. Joy, just like love, is the missing piece in our lives that make us whole. With so many metaphors to use, one simple sentence can describe joy greater than any. And that is pure joy comes from within. Joy is not something superficial. It is far deeper than happiness. Happiness relies on external things, while joy does not depend on any circumstances. Joy can be found in our inner self. Just like Richard Wagner says, joy is not in things, it is in us. But I want you to ask yourself right now, do you find joy at this time? It has been nearly two years since this pandemic has started. This crisis challenges all of us. Not only does it bring an immense fear for the welfare of our loved ones, but it also challenges some of us in various ways, such as the losses of jobs, destitution, hunger, our education, and it also aggravates the mental health of men. Some feel a sense of hopelessness, anxiety, and depression in the midst of the pandemic. According to the World Health Organization, or WHO, cases of anxiety, loneliness, high levels of stress, alcohol and drug abuse, depression, and suicides are rising massively. WHO also reported that there are 14% or 450 million people across the globe, whereas in our country, the Department of Health stated that there are at least 3.6 million Filipinos who are experiencing serious mental health issues. As evident in these statistics, they prove that there is a tremendous increase in people who have mental health conditions as a result of the pandemic. Amidst the affliction and the turmoil that this pandemic has caused, finding joy in our lives may be difficult. As I see it, it is universally acknowledged that humans are delicate beings. It is a need for us to be vulnerable at some point of our lives, especially at this time. Likewise, to feel such melancholic emotions and even the obscure ones. In some ways, we are all broken as suffering and adversity are inevitable. Notwithstanding this frailty of us being humans, we could still possibly live our lives with joy in a world that is pervaded with despair. Idealistically, this is how things should be to be optimistic at all times. However, this is not always the case. We should not perceive our emotions through a rose-colored filter. We should not quell these negative emotions due to toxic positivity. Numerous studies made by the Harvard School of Public Health, people who quell these emotions have a higher chance of premature death by 30% and cancer by 70%. Apart from this, Victoria Tarad, a clinical psychologist, also stated that quelling this sadness, grief, and stress can immensely affect our blood pressure, memory, anxiety, and self-esteem. Let us take our time to process these feelings and acknowledge them. Afterwards, this is the time that we should reframe our perspective into a positive and a healthy one. Now, we should instill our minds and our hearts that there will always be a laugh in the sea of misery, a rainbow after a downpour, a smile after a deluge of tears, a cloud in silver linings, 
and the light at the end of the tunnel. All these things mean that joy coexists with pain, and there is no joy without a little bit of sorrow. We must remember that all of us go through pain for us to understand the value of joy. Time flows seamlessly, and our existence in this world is very limited. It is out of our hands that the world is full of misery. Nonetheless, we have a choice. A choice wherein we do not dwell in sorrows and heartaches, but focus on the little joys that fill our hearts. Let us live our life fulfilling and joyous. In times when anguish transpires, let us move forth with resilience, optimism, a sense of inner peace, gratitude, love, and the virtue of joy.